we've got a rock chip right here, right there, um, a couple. He did have it defilmed once he took some damage on his rear quarter panel. So that is what you're seeing. But there's one you can for sure see. It's a little harder to pick up this one. Today's Wednesday, it's the 4th. Um, we have the Porsche here. We didn't get film in yesterday. We were supposed to be getting a shipment in. We didn't get any in. Um, so we're waiting for the film. We do have a couple pieces still cut that we need to install, but that's what we're gonna be working on today. This one is all ready to go. We just need to get it delivered this morning. But this is what I wanted to show you. This is, uh, this is some old PPF. As you can see, there's a gouge here. It's um, it's pretty beat up, guys. You know, it's this car was tracked. He did road rallies. Uh, he drove this car, which is awesome. You know, that's all you can ask for. So here we've got a chip. Here we've got a chip, 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 crack. Chip, chip, chip. I mean, this whole front windshield is destroyed. It's peppered. So. Um, I mean, as you can tell, maybe, maybe not. This headlight has been peppered as well. I mean, guys, this entire front end is peppered. There's a chip right there in the film, a uh, chip right here in the film. I already started peeling it, but I just wanted to show you that this is before, and once we remove that film, it's gonna be, it's gonna be awesome, guys. And over here, I haven't touched this one yet. This is a chip right here, a um, little chip right here, a little gouge in the film. Uh, and it's not a chip in the in the headlight. It's just a chip in the film. That's a, a gouge in the film. How, whatever you want to say. Um, but like on this front bumper, we've already got it installed. It's a little dirty. I need to wipe it down. But like that was there's that chip, and then I think one on the other side. But this thing has probably anywhere from fifteen to twenty thousand miles on it. Maybe more, maybe less. I haven't really looked. But um, he drove it. Drove. To, he told me he does like three road rallies a year, tracks it, and he daily. Well, doesn't daily it, but he drives it. So that's awesome. I love it. It just proves that the film works. I mean, you see the windshield, and then you see the rest of the paint, and it's it's in immaculate condition. The rear quarter panels did get a little torn up because he defilmed those first uh, before getting any more film done. So that's the only area that is a little torn up. But as far and in the windshield but as far as like everything that was covered with paint protection film maybe one to two rocks got through after you know 10,000 miles of probably going over a buck 20 <laughs> and uh, yeah I, I think that's incredible you can't ask for much more um, if this didn't have film on it I don't even want to know or guess or see what it would have looked like so film is a huge investment especially on a you know, $150,000, $200,000 car, maybe $100,000, but I know these things are going up in price, so, um, yeah, just, I think it's a must, especially if you drive a nice vehicle, or even just a brand new vehicle, and you want to protect your investment, guys, so, just wanted to show you guys that quick little uh, take. As you saw over here, there was a little chip. This is the only guy that got through on this entire headlight. I mean, just look how perfect that headlight looks again. So, I mean, you cannot tell me. I, I'm sure these headlights alone are three grand, easily, three to four grand. So, ask me if you want to pay a hundred bucks to get them covered or three grand to get them replaced. I'm pretty sure that's a no-brainer. Just my opinion.
Thank you.